like to welcome you to uh, first edition of uh, Fishing in the Shoe Swap with Jim Dingledine. I am uh, tying some flies that are uh, seem to be a pretty good fly to be using in the uh, springtime in the shoe swap for rainbow trout. And uh, the best fly that I've found is uh, in the early spring is a bucktail and different variations of bucktails. So I've tied a few and uh, I'm just going to show you uh, a little bit about the colors and how I've made the heads because I've modified the heads a little bit on them I've uh, made a nice round head with the eyes on them and uh, in order to make a nice round head you need to uh, use some epoxy so it kind of uh, dries real nice and uh, uh, smooth and round and glistening like a, almost like a marble uh, but in order to do that with epoxy you need to uh, rotate the head so on top of that, I've uh, purchased some uh, little parts and I've made a rotisserie to uh, rotate the flies. So I'm going to just uh, turn the uh, camera around and uh, show you uh, the flies that I've tied and uh, the machine that I've created to, uh, to uh, rotate them until the head is dry. So well, here I am back again, uh, just showing you. This is the kind of the, the start of the fly that I tied. It's a yellow and white bucktail. It's pretty common. A pretty common fly. These are tied in anywhere from four to twelves. The ones I've tied now are in number fours, uh, which is very large. And I'm going to just show them to you right now. So basically, as you can see, they're rotating. Like I said, I put eyeballs on them, um, as you can see. And I've got some different colors. I need to pick up a couple. Of, uh, uh, I need to tie some more with some purples and some pinks. Uh, they basically kind of go after flies uh, similar to. To uh, steelhead, but um, I've put eyes on these guys and made nice round heads, as you can see. Get the camera nice and close there. If you rotate them while they're drying, then they will dry in a nice round configuration. If you do not rotate them, then the head will blob off to one side and it'll uh, go in the water very uneven. So again, so this is the little machine I've made. I just found some styrofoam in the recycle bin. I went to uh, Princess Auto and uh, found a little motor and a, a gear reducer on it and I just stuck that piece of foam on it with some Gorilla Glue and voila we have a rotisserie that uh, I can run off this little 12 volt battery. Now this is just a small battery as you can see. I, um, I use it in my uh, portable fish finder. It's uh, I got I think probably a Canadian tire for 40 bucks or something like that. So we have a little switch, we can turn it off and on, and I just mounted it on a piece of 2x6. So now it will rotate for 30 to 40 minutes until the, uh, I'll check the, uh, uh, the uh, glue and make sure that it's hardened. This is the epoxy that I've been using. I just purchased it at a hobby store, and it's called uh, PM, uh, PM Hansen Limited. 30 minutes slow cure epoxy. So you mix up two parts and then you paint it on the heads. So, with that, um, if you've got any questions about how I've made this or where we can get some of the parts or anything else on this, you can uh, leave your comments below in the YouTube video. And, uh, and that'll be uh, the end of this one. Well, as I said, this is my first video. I'm going to uh, probably make a few more in the shoe swap as I uh, get through the fishing season. This is middle of March. I'm just getting ready to uh, get my flies ready, cleaning up my reels, get my boat ready, and, uh, and uh, get out there and get some fishing done. Uh, rainbows uh, are very active this time of the year, and it's going to be exciting when it warms up. It's still pretty cold out here, but it will warm up shortly. So, I'm going to uh, post this on YouTube. If you enjoyed it, uh, put a thumbs up or a like on it. And if you want to subscribe, you can follow me. I have a, a, a YouTube channel and I put various things on it. Uh, again, so I'm going to uh, sign off for now and uh, good fishing. Keep your tips up.